Here's something that works for me when firing a single action revolver. It helps me stay on target, crank off a little bit faster shots with the single action, and I'm just going to share it with you. I'm no expert with the single action by any means. In my opinion, if you want really expert advice, go look up those cowboy action shooters that uh, do this stuff in competition. They're really good with their single actions, and they can give you a lot of really good hints and tricks of the trade that'll help you get really fast with your single action revolver. This is just something that helps me, and if you rely on one of these for field use, trail use, hunting, or home protection, and even those of you that carry these on a daily basis for carry concealed, because there are some people that carry this thing, some of them concealed, sometimes people carry them open carry. But if you rely on this revolver, um, and you're not familiar with this, go ahead and try it out and see if it works for you. What I'm talking about is cocking the hammer right here, like so. A lot of people you see, you're shooting with one hand, cock it every time, touch off a round. That's the traditional way to shoot these. We all know in the self-defense world you want to be as efficient as possible and you don't want to play into old stereotypes. Just because this is an old single action revolver doesn't mean you have to shoot it one-handed and you have to cock it with one hand every time. There's different ways to do things. In a self-defense situation, especially with a heavy caliber revolver like 357, 44, 45 Long Colt, 45, uh, 454 Kazool, etc., etc., use a two-hand hold like so. Two-hand hold, use your non-firing hand thumb to cock the hammer. Then you concentrate on your sight picture, trigger squeeze, the gun's going to fire, recoil. When it comes back down, get off the trigger so it resets, cock it again with your non-firing hand, and do it again and again and again. That's what helps me shoot this revolver a little bit more effectively. It gets me on target a little bit faster than shooting one-handed, or even if I'm shooting two-handed, relying on the firing hand to cock the hammer. The key is do things right. You really want to concentrate on getting good shots off with a revolver like this. You don't want to go too fast. You don't just want to fan your shots off. And for those of you that don't know what fanning the revolver is, it's basically you cock the revolver, squeeze the trigger and hold it down. That's kind of fanning. You've seen it done in old west shows, competitions, trick shows, exhibitions, all that stuff. Basically you're popping the rounds off really fast. You don't want to do that in a self-defense situation because you only have six rounds. People say, well, you can reload the revolvers. You can, but it honestly isn't that feasible in a close quarters gunfight situation to reload a single action revolver because of the steps and how long it takes. Opening the gate, twisting the cylinder, knocking a shell out, with your manual extractor, then loading one shell at a time, closing the gate, and then finally cocking the gun, getting it back in the action. That's a lot of fine motor movement, and you're honestly not going to do that, in my opinion, in a close quarters gunfight. So you want to make sure those six rounds count. Basically, you do not fire until you have a target, period. That's just my opinion on it. Opinions vary. Um, if you are in a situation where you can reload a revolver like this, that means you're probably not alone in the gunfight. you probably got some buddies with you that have guns also, or you've put enough distance between you and the adversary where you can reload, where, uh, in my opinion, if you have a lot of distance between you and your adversary, it's probably not a self-defense situation anymore because you could probably just run. Uh, but in any case, that's a whole other subject right there. Just try it out if you haven't done so. Again, remember, I'm not the expert in this stuff. I'm not even close to the expert. It's just something that kind of helps me. Again, if you want expert opinion on this stuff, talk to the cowboy action shooters out there. They do this stuff all the time for competition. Some of them do it for a living, and they can really tell you how to run a single action revolver really fast. So, all right, thanks a lot for watching, and of course, stay safe.